Hi everyone, I'm going to make some art journal page and for starters I'm going to use this acrylic paint and they are a local brand from the cheap store. The pigment is not uh, that good and I just want to try and use them uh, as much as I can so to finish them and but uh, the, the fact that they are not that great uh, um, is it doesn't matter because uh, for now because I'm gonna use them uh, on my background and I just want them to pick through the other layers so it doesn't uh, really matter and I'm just going to smear some paint now most of it is going to get covered so this is totally random and if something uh, I won't like it then I'll just go over it for now as you can see I'm just smearing paint <laughs> here we go Just added from the lighter color so I'll have some kind of variations in the colors when you work with layers you never know what will show through Okay, this is the first uh, layer, this is the background, and now I'm going to wait for this to dry before I continue. I'll be back. I'm back. So, here is the first layer, and it's dry. Now I'm going to take a, a, some kind of nylon bag that I can wrinkle like so, and... I'm going to smear paint on it very uh, gently, not a, a thick layer, and I'm going to print it on this page. And I'm taking uh, two darker colors. I'm starting, this is some kind of, I don't know, it looks like very dark blue grayish uh, color. And let's see, taking this like so, maybe a little bit more. I'm putting the paint on the plastic bag. And here's another uh, dark turquoise. Uh, I've seen people do this with um, what do you call it a cling warp uh, the thing that you are supposed to use in the kitchen it doesn't work for me each time I try to use it it just went bad so I'm just taking another kind of plastic bag and that's what I'm going to use so here it is, is the, the plastic bag and I'm gonna crunch it and wrinkle it a little bit like so and I'm going to put it down now like so on my page and press it down. Uh, you can use a brayer if you want and 
lift it and again scrunching it there we go lifting and here I want just gently I wanted more here uh, here we go if you don't want to waste any of this paint you can spray it with water and use it on another page and continue to work to play with it so here is my uh, next layer and now I have to wait for this one for this to dry and I'll be back I'm back so to continue uh, before I forget uh, the technique with stamping the plastic bag uh, printing not stamping printing the plastic bag is better with um, heavy acrylics not the runny ones uh, that are more liquidy so just so you will know and I've got here white and the very light uh, uh, green uh, and I'm going to take this uh, uh, foam uh, sponge brush whatever it is <laughs> and let's see i'm just going to mix a little bit uh, the white and the green and now i'm going to load it on the sponge and i'm gonna stamp it now i'm uh, going for some kind of flowers and we'll see what what i'll make of it for now i'm just uh, playing around don't know if it will work we'll have to see Okay, and maybe I have a smaller one, yeah, a little bit more paint here. Okay, <laughs> putting all my brushes in water and to continue, now I want some pink here, pink, magenta, I don't know, uh, let's see. Putting this down, I've got another color just going to play around uh, with the colors here and more white here we go so now i'm going to take white and these two colors and just gonna play smear paint not trying to go accurate or anything just putting down paint Now 
Alexa. Each time I'm uh, dipping my brush differently in the colors. And so I've got many variations, many uh, shades of pink. You don't ha even have to stay inside the uh, circle that we've done. It looks a little bit better, I think, when you go outside the borders. And just add and wherever you think it's needed. Here it is. Now yeah, I'm thinking a little bit more. And I need a little bit uh, from the darker color. Mm, let's see. I'm putting the darker color like uh, underneath my uh, flowers it gives them more dimensionality I think <laughs> here we go so that's my flowers and this needs to dry before I'm doing anything and just not to waste paint, taking my uh, my leftovers a uh, notebook and taking the excess and using it here because we don't waste paint. You can do whatever you want with it, of course, and it doesn't even have to be like this. I've got so many things I'm doing, and then I have lovely painty papers to play with, as you can see. So that's how you uh, use your leftover paint. go I already love this page okay so now I'll uh, wait for this to dry and I'll be back back so my flowers are not a uh, dry yet but I decided that I want to add more I don't know interest to my background and like if there is I don't know more little bit of a uh, flowers a uh, more here uh, like 
I think they are called baby breath I'm not sure so I'm going to uh, pick I've got here deco art cherry blossom pink and I'm going to put a little bit oops it's not good need to shake it okay putting down a little bit here and a little bit of water and I'm going for splatter with a fan branch and let's hope it will do what I want it to do yeah and I'm going to add now I've got folk art pink chiffon it's a pearlescent um, acrylic paint I'm uh, it's looks metallic I don't know and it's a little bit lighter uh, can't see the difference okay so now I really need for this <laughs> to dry I don't want to smear all this uh, dots so I'll be back I'm back and I want to draw the stems of my flowers I'm gonna take a black permanent uh, pen and I just need to see I'm thinking I'm gonna use the Artline 70 and do it very gently like so and I'm making the stem thicker towards uh, the bottom just because it, it looks better to me The flowers are not completely dry, so I'm being really careful not to smudge anything with my hand. And let's see. Maybe I need to do some um, gonna use a thinner a permanent pen. I've got Stadler a permanent a lamb color. I've got S and F, I don't know. And let's see. I talked about making it look a little bit like a baby breath so I'm thinking doing something like that not all of them just a few to give a more interest like so here we go It's not planned, I'm just randomly connecting dots and making little uh, junctions, 
between uh, all this. I think it's more interesting like this. So here we go. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'll bring it closer to the camera. I'm just connecting several of the dots like this, just to make more interesting. So, let's see. A little bit more here and Yeah, I think this is it. I'm not doing any more. And now I've got the sentiment I want to uh, glue here. I've got be your own kind of beautiful. And just some glue. And I'm finished with this page, which I really like. And I hope you liked it also. Here we go. my sentiment here this is it so that's the uh, our journal page for today i hope you liked it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now <laughs>